Oh, chef. Oh, sweet Luciferium adult chef. What have I done? I think we're both suffering, my friend. You with your crippling Luciferium need about to kill you any day now, and your traumatic brain injury, and me with my own traumatic brain injury. <coughs> What's that, chef? What are you saying in there? <coughs> What's that, chef? You're asking what my traumatic brain injury is. <laughs> oh, well, you're so kind and generous. Thank you for asking. It's because I was so foolish to suggest that maybe Deathless would let us get around the Luciferium gene. And in reply, I got roughly 47,000 messages reminding me that that is not the case. Thank you. Thank you for your help. So yes, for those enviable people out there who haven't looked at a single comment on all the Discord since yesterday, uh, a lot of people have reminded me, everyone on the face of their planet and their mothers have reminded me that uh, Luciferium does not get around Deathless. Or more specifically, Deathless doesn't get around Luciferium. Because when you run out of Luciferium, when you die from the Luciferium withdrawals, your brain explodes, which is awesome. Unless you're Chef. Now, the questionably but not always benevolent cat lover has pointed out to me that because of a mod we've got in the pack, a uh, a mod that's incredibly useful 99% of the time, we're actually getting far less Luciferium than we should be. Luciferium is arguably useful in exactly one situation. Or when you've got an addiction to Luciferium. And the incredible Better Ancient Complex loot mod by Frozen Snow Fox makes it so that when you open crates... The usual table that's reserved for Luciferium has added to that same drop table, Nutramine and Go Juice. Now, the incredibly talented Frozen Snow Fox makes uh, so many useful mods. My mod packs are always loaded with their mods. In this situation, this is the one situation where I have made a terrible mistake. So I've, I've changed that particular aspect of the mod to be back to default Rimworld. As in, if we open a box and it should contain Luciferium, it will contain Luciferium, instead of it potentially being Nutramine or Godrus instead. So instead, my focus shifts to our six other colonists, the people who have kept this place going. All of them, I think, have their own relevant strengths to the colony. They've all contributed in some way or another. Yes, that includes you, Grill. How can we cure the world if we can't even cure ourselves? And we've got the resources to do both at this point, I'd argue. We picked up an awful lot of stuff yesterday with Timon. So, forget about the hot tubs. We're going to go complete electronics to help with the joy we're gonna go for sprinklers to help out with our food supplies maybe get them a variety of food then we go into biosculpting and while that's happening i work on curing and fixing everybody else in this colony now ruffle if we swap out her left shoulder for a bionic arm fixes the, the the shoulder issue the arm issue and the pinky issue all in one go can't do much about your torso without a bioscopter. so let's queue one of those up big brain kai grill needs a new leg they're frail so actually a pair of bionic legs would help make up for that frailness and then banana needs a new spine because they've got a bad back but banana has been doing some heavy lifting so it's not much of a surprise they've got a bad back arm arm leg leg spine i think in that order arm arm leg leg spine. That seems the most useful way to go about it. For my next strike, I want to armor these people up because we've gone from having a, a colony that's majority incapable of violence to now a colony where we've introduced, of course, Grill. Mariana's been brought back. We can fight again. We don't just have to rely on Timon and Banana. Mariana used to be really good at fighting. Someone pointed out in the comments she had very, very good melee. She used to. She turned into a mushroom, started losing her humanity. She's kind of back to the beginning. Wouldn't take long to train her up, though, with the uh, double passion in shooting. Did we not bring back legendary recon armor with Tim and absolutely we did? Of course, it's just lying in a corridor. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Because there's so few space of technology, that's all the blue ones, right? Whenever we use these space of technology blueprints, we're, we're ticking stuff off before we've even really gone anywhere near it. And shit, could, could we get, like, detoxify our lungs? Because then we could swap out the asthma and not have to worry about... Not have to worry about the gas masks, too. 18 of them lying around. Growth fats. No, Big Brain Kai, that's the one I said I didn't want. We want detoxifier lungs. Well, that is growth fats. Brilliant. Thank you. Brain wiring. Shields. These aren't useless. Recon armor is kind of fun. Because I want to armor everybody up, like I said. Advanced light sensor. Really super useful. Toxin filtration. That's the one. That's the one we're after. Keep going on that one, huh? And I can just queue it up and we can crack it out in like two seconds flat anyway. Compact weaponry. Whoa. Okay. Not really what I was expecting, but thank you. All right. How about that toxic filtration though? Artificial ecosystems, satellite hacking, and specialized limbs. There you go. We've got some industrial ones too that we use, but they're not super useful. Put it on the list then, I guess. 1,600. We got 400 points out the way. We can let Tim and finish off the last of the defenses and get some solar panels online because this shit is expensive. Expensive for our power grid, that is. I think we're probably in the negative already. Yep. That's a lot of turrets though, to be fair. There are better turrets, right? It's like pulse charge defenses? Uh, yes, there are. Hello. Reload those with like uranium or something like that. I don't remember. Oh, God. 
Well, the research is now off the screen. Kai has a lot of work to do. After that crab disaster yesterday, I'm never building another monument as long as I live. What I am going to go for, though, are these two complexes. Let's see now if we're back to that base game drop table. My man, Chef Will, has a chance of surviving. Oh, my God. What the hell is going on here? Hello. We got a load of bricks. Okay, we love bricks. Oh, sleep accelerators. I'll happily take those. Thank you. Jesus Christ, what am I looking at? Are those bionics? Power claws, medicine, bionic ears... Holy shit, prosthetic arms, I don't really need those. Bionic ears, bionic arms, joy wires, pain stoppers. Oh my god. We found them. We have found the mother load. <laughs> I'll be the first to admit, I have no idea how the real ruin spawn system works for items. If you limit maximum item cost, all items top cost. Oh, that doesn't put a limit on how many items are spawned. I think it just destroys everything worth more than 1,000 silver. But when you've got Psychite T, which is worth X amount of dollars each, $10 each, and you spawn in 62, that is less than 1,000. Or like Psycho Loop, same situation. Until you spawn 1,700 of them. I'm surprised it doesn't just say, okay, you can have 50,000 wealth on each map, and then anything above that is destroyed. But no, I guess it just stops you getting really valuable shit. But even then, when you've got like 200 of not so much valuable shit, it still adds up. Am I going to take all those arms? Ah, probably not. It does kind of undermine Timon's whole adventure, right? We're just suddenly getting all these arms without the need of resources. I don't know. Still feels a little bit weird. No, on the subject of that, a lot of people said, why not just add the mod that lets you craft Luciferium? But if I make a problem for myself... Oh. <laughs> if I make a problem for myself, then introduce another mod that solves that problem... I haven't really got a problem at all. You know, we could just do that for everything we come across. No, the mod pack stays how it is. I've made my bed, now I'm going to lie in it. I am happy, however, to alter mods that make a problem that I've already got not normally possible to solve within the game's boundaries. Like, we should have got way more Luciferin than we got before, right? Purple fungus, no, thank you. 489 medicine, I can't do it. I can't do it. This is what I'm talking about. This is insane. <laughs> Look at this shit. Take some psychoid. We've got to leave some for Tim and Zami. Timmons army is out there in the world. He's probably freed like 200 people at this point. They're going to need some stuff. We'll try this one as well. I think this one is also just an ancient complex, but one of, it's guaranteed to contain that mechanator, right? And nothing at all. Okay, well, let's see what we've got on the map. Let's head home. We can bring Chef back for another for another month, maybe. Maybe now we've got it back to default Rimworld. Maybe when we get the facilities, we'll be able to find enough to keep Chef going. Because by the time he gets through all that loose we found, we only found six. It wasn't a massive drop amount. Maybe some more facilities will have spawned, and maybe we'll be able to keep it consistent. Maybe we're under attack. What the... What is that? What? I look away for five minutes. They must have just drop potted in. They must have, because the turrets haven't, haven't killed that many of them yet. Oh, shit. Why is there an enormous crater in the floor? Is that where they blew up one of the... That's where they blew up the artillery. Must have had a shell loaded into it. Fuck him up, girl. Get him. Okay, well, like, don't get our embrasures, though. Thank you. A long last. I have to keep a closer eye on this colony when Timon's not here, okay? Every time I lock away, it all goes to shit. Where is it? Where is it right now? Luciferium. Here we go. This is it. This is the moment where Mariana and Chef Will are finally going to be face to face for the first time since... Since what, episode three? No longer is she that horrifying mushroom slowly losing her humanity. Will, dose up fast, my friend. Dose up fast. What are you doing? Just, just eat it there. Eat your smarties, Will. Boom. Oh my god, we've got the whole squad back together. Oh, I stand by what I said before. I, he's he's not back until he can actually have a goddamn conversation with his wife. If I'm not mistaken, that quest gave us three Helomex serums. Oh, four Helomex serums. Chef Will, let's use it. We cure the permanent injury in his brain with one of these. Boom. Then we cure it again and get rid of Trauma Savant. Kapow. Your man's back. This has been an uphill battle for days. But holy shit, we've finally done it. And to clarify, it is still exceptionally rare that you will get Luciferium in the base game. It is still very, very, very unlikely. So we did get super lucky with that one. We've got one Helomex serum left in case of uh, uh, some sort of super emergency. Someone else gets irreversible brain damage, something to that effect. But you know what we need to have? We need to have a goddamn party. It's time to celebrate. Lovely chorus of burning mushroom people outside the front door as we... Have a lovely party in the recreation room. A lovely, terrible party in the recreation room. <laughs> it's probably awkward. These people haven't spoken for months. They've got a lot to talk about. They've got a lot to catch up on. Chef Will's probably saying, Mariana, where did you get that hat? Oh, God. 
<gasps> Has he immediately gone into catatonic breakdown? Oh, shit. To be fair, he is addicted to a life-changing mechanite drug, so I'm not really surprised. Let's get that eye swapped out as well. I I'm sure we can stretch to make an bionic eye for you, Chef. My God, Chef Will is back. Oh, I feel so much safer already. This is amazing. Will can be Chef Will can be the muscle. It's him and Tim are now hitting the complexes instead. Friends forever. Mariana can stay in the vault and do the chefery. She can be the, the the vault leader while he's not here. She's always been the the moral guide. Not that we've done anything with ideology this time around, right? What's happened to that go juice? Are you finally dead? First research down, and that's a little bit of joy for our people. Xbox 360 gaming console. No way. Chef Will's got that Halo 3. Uh, I'm going to build them. I, I mean, I would build them a flat screen television, but it seems we're out of steel. Where does it keep going? I've bought back so much steel. Tens of thousands of this shit, and it just disappears. The thing is, we can't just like, I, I can't just say, okay, let's not, let's not carry on out. We just don't have to worry about it for a while. Let's take the day off. If we don't, the turrets run out of ammo. If we don't, we can't fix the holes in the walls or the problems with the doors. Oh, Timon. Timon, banana. Let's go. This time, we'll do some mining. And you know what? I'm going to fill this entire truck with, with steel. If we can carry 22,000 kilograms, that's 4,400 steel. That's going to be a five-minute trip in and out, okay? Five minutes package of oatmeal why where what are you getting that from what's that what's that on the floor uh, some sort of big hammer i hey, don't run over ruffle what the fuck's wrong with you careful god damn i love this airlock system holy shit it works so well look at that perfection where are we gonna go we, we've got a bombarded city we've got two vaults or i could just have them set up a camp here and see what we've got uh, i mean the only thing i'm really after is like steel ore, like a mountain to spawn there there that's exactly what i'm after boom mine connected ores and have at it Good luck. See you later. Hello. You are right out there. Boy, I wish this power grid was a little bit more stable. What? What is using up all this power? Why is this door not active? Oh, it's just not connected. Ah, oh, well, that makes a lot of sense. Ruffle, be careful. Jesus, Ruffle, be careful. Mariana, I think it's time we get you a gun, my friend. My only concern is I don't think I've actually got any research to make any <laughs> worthwhile guns. I think it's all just shit. We got a Zeus hammer. Mariana with the Zeus hammer, though. That could be kind of fun. We've really got nothing, huh? Um, okay. Forget the bioscopes and the bioregeneration. That takes up too much of our people's time. Oh, I think we put the toxic filtration like there. So gas operation. We can make more of those chain shotguns. Those have really kept it down. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, Mariana? Are you fist fighting that enormous person? What do you, what do you mean? Oh, the wall's been breached. Shit. Is she okay? Is she okay, though? She's been, she's been acided by that enormous burster. Hey, get the fuck back from there. Turrets. Turrets, please help. Oh my god. Oh my god. We need guns. We need guns for our people. There's an enormous burster in the base. <laughs> okay, is she good? She's good. She's good. These have a, these have aggression spores too, okay? And in fact, I'm pretty sure if they hit her because they have the fungal infector, she would also turn into a burster this time. I think she's had enough of that for one lifetime. Oh my god, it's like alien. She's she's continually receiving acid burns until that fades off. Oh my god, that's insane. Okay, um, come back, grill, bring the flamethrower, please. Poor Mariana, oh my god. She just can't catch a break, can she? Hey, you can piss off. Whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. Can we fire that somewhere where it won't catch the turrets? Uh, not that can also hit the big fella, annoyingly. Oh god, okay, um, what if we put it like... If we put it there and maybe the fire will spread? Oh, what if we, what if we put you in this door? Okay, careful there, grill. And then we fire it like... Oh, I'm, I'm just going to have to take the shot and just hope that we avoid our own turrets. Grill, you're a fucking idiot. You've hit everything but the thing I want you to hit. Hey, there we go. It took them all day, but we finally got that. Okay, now just walk past. Now just go, walk away. 360, walk away. That's fine. We're, we're not in any trouble. Absolutely disgusting. Look at the tentacles. It's gross. I'm a terrible person. I'm a terrible person. You're almost done. You're almost done. Uh, sorry, a What? Explore discarded nutrient cream factory from fun gussy to nutrient cream. What a story. What a character arc. My god, you've done it, Timon. You're finally free. You can... F oh my god. I was gonna say finally go back to the lovely vault, but it turns out this place is a death trap. Boom. <laughs> I told you we'd fill up on almost 4,400 steel. It's not quite that much. So this will last us probably, uh, probably like 10 minutes if we're lucky. Oh, great timing just as the solar flow is ending. Okay, let's go, Timon. Let's go, Tim and home, sweet home. Now I can build all those luxuries I've been threatening to build for the best part of 
Wow, all week. Jeff Will is back up. He's fine. How much more Luciferum have we got? Five more, because I don't think it ticks down actually while he was uh, while he was catatonic. That'd be very unfair. Now Jeff Will's here. Holy fuck! You know what we can do? We can say finish off, and then we could do a big box around all of these horrible monstrous creatures in the base, and then Chef Will can go up there and kill them all. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's amazing. And look at all the shit they're dropping too. Gojuice, Yayo, Myco Thread, Raw Fungus. Because I suppose we so rarely finish them off. I can see other ones come over here and carry them off, and then we, then we never see it. What, why have you run? Have you run out of chem fuel? What the hell happened? Oh! <gasps> Because when you run over things, it takes damage. Shit. The chem tank must be leaking. Oh, bollocks. Okay, well, I think we can just about close that door. Well done. Great work, Timon, you fucking idiot. Can't trust Timon to do anything, can you? What a guy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Timon, I would never. Look at that, they're almost all finished off at this point. What the hell is even that? Oh, hello. <laughs> okay. Okay, back off. What is it doing? Consuming raw fungus. Yeah, no, I don't... I don't like that. One just went hostile. One just went hostile. It was that one. Dodgy Dave. Dodgy Dave started hunting Mariana when she picked up the thread. Oh! And now you've angered the lot. Positions, please. Positions, positions. Okay. Uh, you, you two come here. Grill, get in the middle. We're going to need that flamethrower, my friend. Hide. Hello. How are you doing, my enormous friend? I don't think we've seen this mushroom center type before. A forgotten ancient. Maybe not the forgotten ancient, but certainly, because of course they can infect one another, they can spread their xenotype. Certainly someone who's come up against somebody at some stage who was infected. Surely nothing to do with us, no sir. Electric discharge, Jotun frame, gigantism, that seems overkill. Strong melee damage, kill thirst. Oh, you are, you are fun. Get them all killed, Chef Will. Get them killed. What happens if you finish off an explosive one? Well... <laughs> I don't know what I expected. <laughs> well, I feel like that took 20 years, but I can finally tick off the first thing on my to-do list. I've got Timon and Banana working on the research while Kai works on the bionics so that everybody has something to do. Like, Timon's pretty good at research. 9.28 intellectual, okay, it's not massive. I also want to throw down another research bench, but we just don't have the components because base game components are an enormous pain in the ass. I'm reminded time and time again why I play with reasonable components, but that's not this series. It's about survival, damn it. God damn, I had Will go around and finish off all of the downed mushrooms, and my god, my TPS has recovered. Turns out having like 40 people on the floor all simultaneously taking damage from frostbite, doesn't it slow things down a little bit? Oh, shit. Wait, that was from the one before. I mean, he did get hit by the acid from where we had to finish off one of the one of the big fellas. Precision rifling, hello. I built a second tool cabinet as well, because this is base game rim rim, so that we can have two of those, 6% each. We might be done by Christmas. In fact, we've got a lot. Shit, maybe I'll just tick this off and we'll get on it right away. The uh, anti-toxic lungs, still very high priority, especially given the amount of people in this colony with asthma. I guess I'll queue up four of them. They're bloody expensive. Four advanced components each is gonna wipe us out. What is happening? Oh my god, hello! Oh my god, it's just a regular Manhunter pack! Luckily for us, beetles have a horrible weakness to bullets. God damn, they're tanky though, huh? God damn it. What are you doing? No, Timon, what the fuck, bro? I turned on Drafted Hunt. Holy shit, that could have been a mistake. To clarify, I didn't turn on Drafted Hunt. I must have mashed the buttons and accidentally set him to Drafted Hunt. I just heard monstrous screaming and thought it was a big pack of... Horrible mushroom fellas that have mutated again. In fact, we haven't had a big group of mushroom fellas except for when, uh, like at the very start when Timon was off doing stuff, right? We got some like subtasks to do, but they're not really super relevant. Uh, number one, while it's winter and everybody's freezing to death, we'll go out here and we'll reinforce some of the bits that they've mined through. Especially like up here, because it's a massive pain in the ass. Ruffle's always been in charge of repairing because Timon and all the other good builders have a lot of good stuff to do, but Ruffle's good enough just to make it happen. Let's get that patched up first. Hello, what do you want for that? Ebert. Except we have to fight 69 man hunting Venic foxes. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm good. Like, our strength right now is... Oh my god, everything's breaking down. Jesus Christ. Our strength right now is the fact that we can get a lot of turrets, which are kind of crap, focused on one target and kill it. We're very good at killing one thing fast, not 69 things. We need components. This is ridiculous. Timon, big man, grab some meals. It's time to go trucking. we got to go trucking. We've got enough steel to last months, but it doesn't matter when it takes a month to craft a bloody component. We've got two nutrient solution factories. 
12 mossy fennex in that one owned 10 turrets and one waster so we've got plenty of places we can go to get components there's also the nutrient cream factory but i would never step foot there Inter complex it's, it's our go-to right look for some luciferium take apart a load of stuff this time because i've just been turning up grabbing whatever's lying around and leaving but if we actually look and 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 specifically make components our goal i'm sure we'll find enough to keep us going for a while i mean i did want components but if you're offering i'll take the blood and human skulls i suppose just unhinged but look at all this stuff that's broken down Oh, music to my ears. There's another bioscope spot if you want it. What's that? Random vault walls and crap. Come on, show me some more Luciferium. You, would, you wouldn't stop this reunion, would you? You wouldn't make me put Chef Will back in the... Oh, Tim, and even you're not brave enough for that, my friend. Prove me wrong. <laughs> Amazing. You wouldn't stop this reunion now. Come on, what's that? Drill arm. Oh, drill arm's cool. I mean, I wouldn't give it to Tim and intentionally. I'd prefer him to be able to, you know, hold things, but that's kind of nice. <gasps> Bruh, what the hell is that? <laughs> Moloch shell prestige chitin frat. That's a different set of armor to what banana has. Holy shit, does it look cool? Oh my god. I mean, I can barely see it because of all the other crap we've got going on. It does match her helmet, though. Oh my god, is it the same set? Wait, that's spider frat. That one's chitin frat. Look at all these people Tim and have woken up, uh, has woken up again. Look at this. It's this absolutely nuts. Okay, no luciferin, but again, I'll. I'll take the power armor. It's kind of cool. Now we take apart everything that's broken down. Oh, and of course, come back to machinery. Good call, Timon. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, our grill, Mariana. She hasn't got a gun, though. The best thing I've got for her is a bloody Zeus hammer. Oh, have you got anything spare, grill? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Um, I, I mean, it's better than nothing. It's horrible, but it's better than nothing. Jeff Will doesn't have anything. I, I think I've overextended. I think I really have overextended. Everything's breaking down. We've got turrets broken down. Auto doors broken down. I can't build another solar panel to try and keep the grid consistent. I've overextended. I've done too much. And now I've sent Tim and off to go and do even more. How are we looking on the component front? Can I bring them back fast? Uh, 37. Yeah, you know what? I can deal with that. I can, I can live my life with 37 components, I think. That'll let us at least build the stuff we've got and then throw it into a few weapons, a little bit of power armor. I think this is fine. I think this is kind of the last bits that we need. Look behind that poor marine armor. That's the one we swapped out for the other set, if I'm not mistaken. We don't need poor quality marine armor at 5.3%. We're good. Bring the rifles, the LMGs, the lot. Just bring something with you. Anything that uses components that we haven't yet taken apart, bring it. Just just, just wipe this place out, for sure. Give me the heaters. Give me the, the ceiling fans, I presume we can we can get. Why have you got bioscopes, pods, and latrines in the same base? I suppose maybe a prison? Stove, stove, drill arm, give me some wood, boom, accept, accept, get out, go, 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 home, bring those guns. Oh, oh, am I glad I armored that up. Oh, big brain time. Yeah, get to us now, you big bitch. Speaking of big bitch, hello? Quality, quality, teacher, hello, how you doing? It's our tank. Very strong unarmed combat. We've got a gigantism as well. Takes a lot more damage, but I mean, to be fair, you've also got to march to the base very slowly past, like, Five different turrets, so it's not really a concern, I suppose. See, this is where if we had guns for Chef and Mariana, they could have gone out there and tried to shoot the ones that are mining through the walls. This is the last time this ever happens. Oh, God. What did you just run over? Well, it doesn't matter what you've run over, because you are leaking camp fuel like crazy. Ah! Please. Oh, please, 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 just a little bit further. Okay, good enough, good enough, good enough. Oh, my God. Okay, that was a close one. Drop the lot. I'll drop it there, though, and then it will start popping out outside the walls if I'm not careful. So just drop. Okay, we were safe. It was fine. Um, Mariana, grab this assault rifle. Chef Will, come grab this LMG. Uh, then flip the script. Tim and Banana, get out there. Go shoot them. Shoot them dead. Let's see if that armor works, Banana. I don't know how many times I have to say this. You will never get this. Do you think we're safe? Let's do a quick... Let's just do a sweep of the outside of the vault. The amount of bodies is unreal. <laughs> it's so disgusting. <laughs> Look at the amount of steel slag too. In fact, there are bloody compacted machinery nodes on the map. I think it's safe enough at this point. Minus 36. We're, we're getting up to the, the kind of depths of winter here. This is the safest point to get out here and be, and be grabbing all this shit, right? And it seems like we're safe. Finish repairing that vault wall? No, well, close enough. These things happen, don't they? What's wrong with Will? Long rot. Oh, shit. He should be fine. I don't think I want to waste those detox fire lungs just to clear that up. Structure booty sounds like music to my ears. Chef Will, we've got another chance to keep you going, my friend. Hilarious, great sense of humor. I promise I haven't tweaked cargo pods or anything like that. 
It was just a coincidence they contain enormous amounts of mushrooms. I suppose at least these cargo pod mushrooms aren't trying to kill us all. Ruffle has done an absolutely bang up job tidying up this base. Going around fixing all the turrets now that we've got some components to do it with. Power grid is solved. Let's it charge up overnight. And then we do lose we do lose more power than we make overnight. But it's always in the green. We're always fine. That another another ancient complex. Okay, good shit. We're going to have a look. How much more has Sheffield got in terms of Luciferium? Down to his last one again. Ugh. Oh, he's got two in his pocket though. That's all right. Ooh. Speaking of Luciferium, Chef Will's hatchet scar has healed. Oh, shit. Now, the right eye I'm going to swap out for a bionic eye. The left ear, I think we picked up a bionic ear from one of the ruins, if I'm not mistaken. Um, bionic ear? Did I not bring it back in the end? That's unfortunate. Not still in the van? No. That's unfortunate. I, I genuinely thought I bought one back, but that's okay. We can make do without that. So we've got a spine, two arms, two legs, a stone skin line, and an aesthetic nose. All we need is that final lung. And I think we've got... Oh, unless they're just in the stop pile somewhere. Yeah, there you go. Three lungs. Oh, they can play frightening basketball together. You remember like back in the old days when I thought that the walls were all being caved in? Just the sound of the balls bouncing off the backboard. That's so nice. It really is a terribly wholesome time, isn't it? Oh, look at that. They're immediately back to plus 100, plus 100. And they've been together for 5.6 years. Holy shit. This might be the longest real world relationship I've seen. Why is Chef Will and Tim and... They're not best friends anymore. I wonder what happened. I guess they just haven't spoken really since... Because Chef Will and Timon do very different jobs. Timon's always out traveling around. Chef Will's kind of working uh, on the hydroponics all day. They don't really cross paths very often. I have faith. I believe in these people. They'll be friends again one day. And with that, our final lung. If the solar panels don't solve our power problems, I have a feeling this will. The vitals monitors, the vital center, the good suspenders, the good doctor... This is going to be easy. I can't imagine you're going to fail any of these surgeries. And if you do, you know what? It's not the end of the world. I'm feeling very forgiving this series. I've been impressed time and time again by all of these people. So you know what? I'm going to treat them like, like human beings who might sometimes make mistakes, okay? You idiot! What the fuck was that? Incredible timing. <laughs> that was amazing timing. Oh my god. I, I mean, of all the surgeries, spine surgery seems like the one that you really don't want to fuck up, but... Never mind, I suppose. Otherwise, not too bad. Two new lungs. And then for Chef Will, we've got a new bionic eye. And I think that's it for Chef Will, right? Yeah, that's all he really needs. Perfect. And then for Grill, it's a pair of legs. So Grill is frail. We can't do anything about frail, but both of his legs are damaged. This will not only undo that damage, right? But it'll also make up for frail as well. And boom. That's what we like to see. I'm happy with it. Oh, shit. And then we get a bulk goods trader. That, in theory, will take some of this crap off my hands, even if we have to give it away. Let's try and lower some of our wealth, because this is out of control. Do we need 8,000 rice? You know, now that you mentioned it, I don't think we do. I'm going to give them 17,000 silvers worth of crap. Say this chocolate, too. That's fine. In return, all I want are your components, your advanced components, any luciferium. If you've got it, what? Holy shit. Well, Chef, uh, do I have some bloody good news for you, my friend? They've also got this stuff here, Glitter. What the hell does that do? Control the oh, it's this one, I remember. Holy shit, 26 Luciferum. Yeah, thank you. Um, I guess I'll take your steel as well. I'm selling them plasteel because we don't need this much and it's blowing up our colony wealth. Um, what else you got here? Jewish temple? What the fuck? <laughs> Large graveyard. Catapult line. Basic research lab. Okay. Uh, we've got some gold. I think, actually, I'm all right. They can't afford the deal. You know what? I do not give a shit. Take it, clear out our stockpile by all means. Is that going to put a dent in our colony wealth? Uh, probably not, admittedly. Probably, probably not even remotely. It's all the stuff we've got. It's all the buildings. It's all the, it's all the defenses. It's the vault itself. The vault itself makes up 433,000. When you consider we've only got 630,000 stuff after all that looting, it's really not that bad. Over the course of a uh, of a five and a half year playthrough, to pick up 200,000 wealth, that's nothing. There's like literally nothing. It's all just in the vault. I mean, shit, everybody who needs a weapon has got a weapon, so I'm going to tick off shotgun time. Power armor, we're a little bit far away, but there is another solution I can think of. In fact, now that I look at it, we don't need any power armor because everybody who needs power armor has got power armor. Will's got Prestige, Cat Fright, Mariner's Legendary Recon. Timon and Banana have their crazy Beetle and Mollusk Frack gear, and then grill has got Marine armor. So I guess I'll take that one off too. Oh my god, I've, I've done all my goals. And I don't know how this has happened. The final thing I said we would do, of course, is the flame tank. Maybe we don't bother with that and we go for a higher tier tank altogether. 
I'm not sure. We'll worry about that later. For the time being, we'll, we'll just tick that off. We'll say, I'm going to think about that, okay? Let's leave that for the time being. Just think we're done. <laughs> I think we're done. Chef Will has gone from no Luciferum at all to, oh, by the way, he's a trader with 21, which is insane. He's nuts, but he's absolutely solved his problems for a long, long time. We've got 27 total Luciferium now. There's still a lot of damage we've got to try and sort out. Mar Mariana's in severe pain. I hate that. I don't like that at all. That I want to try and, uh, and tidy up. Tim is in a little bit of pain. Chef Will's in a little bit of pain. Banana's in severe pain too. It's just kind of horrible. It it's a stat I don't normally pay attention to, but it's not nice, is it? So here's what I'm thinking. Forget about this. Pulse charge mun munitions. I, I probably won't build any charge weapons because the ammo is like components and gold, which is nuts. I'm going back to the Biosculptor. I'm not happy that my people are in constant overwhelming pain. I think we're safe and secure, and I need, think I need to change my, my vision and my goal for this colony going forward. It was, it was bring back Mariana, and then for a brief period, it was bring back Chef, and then it was, well, let's get everybody upgraded and happy. And now that we've basically done that, what comes next? I have something in mind. I have something in mind, and I think you should stay tuned. So I've been thinking about this for a couple of days, and now that we're in a situation where I'm comfortable and I feel like we've overcome all odds, we're kind of at this point where we could slowly upgrade, we could expand the vault, we could fuck around for a bit longer, but I think there will be a big change happening tomorrow. I've got, I've got a plan in my mind, and I think it's a logical outcome from a lot of the different story elements we've seen happening here. So... Stay tuned. Maybe it won't be tomorrow. Maybe it'll take me a couple of episodes to set up. I'm not sure. But just bear with me. I think it's going to be kind of fun. And it, it gives it a, uh, a a nice bit of acceleration. Because otherwise things... We always get to that kind of mid-season lull. And with this series being in a vault, especially, I was a little bit worried about that. But I've got something in mind. Thank you to Plants Our Friends. Bigsby, Honey Delelio, Vladislav Lazarov, Liam Mersic, Sakari, Danny the Dandelion, Buen Gun, Code Kai, Brambio, Cole Bacon, Tulip, Mighty Couscous, Griff, Freakin' Satan, Patrick Paulia, Sao Chung Tai, Grendeloff and Deathcore Hippie, Heisenborg, Lapis Gollum, Sideshow C, Peter Sorofsi, Some Idiot Guy, Elvin Flang, The Longhoff, Snathro, Zachary Whitaker, Sam, and... Kobo Supreme, the executive producers who have returned Chef Will to his power. Thank you. It's much appreciated. Chef Will's very happy. No one else is. They're all in excruciating amounts of pain, but Chef Will's pretty much good. Thank you as well to Juice Tin, Shadow Base 64, Dr. Luden, Stephen Collars, our Ravenous Argo, Ed, formerly the Cooper Gunga, Lieutenant Smokin, Evolka, Militant Millennial, Nox Immortalis, Fafante, November, Evan Stockdale, Mel, and Bucky. Goodbye. So long. Go outside. Breathe fresh, clean air and enjoy. I mean, unless you live somewhere where there isn't fresh, clean air, which one shits out a lot, so you know. Move. Move out.